Today we're making a big sign for the front of the shop. I've got it all cut out on my CNC. I programmed it and cut it out. I had to cut it out in sections because my cut table on the CNC is not as big as the sign. So I cut out eight separate portions of that. I'm gonna lay it on this plywood lay it out and then I'm gonna cut the plywood to size and then we'll glue it all together, staple it all together and hang it up on the bricks over there at the front of the house. Now the fun begins puzzling all these small little pieces in. I'm just gonna trace the plywood and then I'm gonna cut this part out with my jigsaw should be pretty quick and easy to just run a few cuts around. I'm trying to get as close to the Jamie River Vintage logo color as possible. I'm starting off with DIY paint and Farm Fresh and I'm adding in beadboard to lighten it up just a little bit. It's not going to be an exact match, but I cannot stand to use latex paint. I'm making my own DIY color here so that way I don't have to color match my logo. I'm adding in some beadboard so I can get it as close to my logo color as possible. So I'm mixing this up here with a screwdriver because that's what I have handy. So the trick when you're mixing up paint is to just keep mixing until the colors are really blended because otherwise you'll get like funky highs and lows in your paint. So I need to add some more green to this because I tested it here and I can see that we're off just a little bit. I don't have much room in there, so I'm gonna just add as much of this mint chip as I can. I'm gonna go ahead and get started nailing this down, and then as I get it nailed down, Jamie's gonna come through and start adding the detail, the black, we'll probably use little black dress, and then white swan on the scallop edges there. Alright, All right, Jamie, hold it. Um, no. So I've got one inch nails to get through the three quarter. It's not going to stick a whole lot down into the plywood, but it'll be enough that it'll let that glue dry and keep it nice and tight until that happens. So I am painting in these little dots with beadboard DIY paint and I'm using my little Frenchie because it's getting in all these little details where a big fat brush wouldn't really do the job. see if I can figure out where to put all of these again. I'm just gonna start putting all these little nail holes. I think there's roughly 2,000. Yeah, I, well I put two strips, so there's 100 nails per strip. Mm -hmm. Sweet. So at least 200 nails in here. So somewhere along the way, I didn't get quite perfectly flush, so I might fix that with the Dremel, I might not. You're not gonna really notice once it gets painted. And Jamie's just filling in the little cracks so it's kind of more seamless. So there's like a couple little gaps right here where it's just a little off. I'm just gonna make a little transition with the Dremel and smooth that out a little bit. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's not that bad to start with, so I'm not super worried about it. We let the lightweight spackle sit overnight so it's nice and dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and just sand it. I'm using 220 grit. It should zip off pretty easily. We're not trying to remove any material, just kind of clean it up and then we will paint it. So looking at our logo here, we've got the white dots 
And then we have Jamie Ray Vintage and the Bird in Black, and then we have the Mint color. I'm hoping we can get this sealed and hung up today, but it's raining outside, so I might let it cure for a little while longer before we hang it. That way it's really nice and durable once we put it outside. I've got some smaller cracks in here, so I'm using the Assistant Brush. This is from the Turquoise Irish Brush Collection. You can pick that up at jamierayvintage.com. I'm back from uh, hanging up signs in the rain for football. <laughs> yeah, the seniors have uh, pictures of them, life-size pictures that they hang along the street by the high school on game days. I'll put a picture of that in the video so they can see me. I took a funny picture next to his, his poster. <laughs> I actually, ironically, when I was putting him up, when I got there, his was the next one in line. So I got to put his up and it's actually a little crooked. Oh, <laughs> I've never done it before, it was a little hard to get up. This R has a lot of detail, it just keeps like <laughs> twirling around. You designed it, you made that logo. Like how many years ago did you make this logo? I designed this logo probably nine, ten years ago now. Oh, it's been a while. When it used to just be me, that's why it's Jamie Ray Vintage, because it was just me and then an occasional you when you had time. Yeah. But mostly you, like I didn't have a lot of time after I came Maybe an hour or two a week. <laughs> yeah. I used to have to roll furniture end over end to get it into the house because I wasn't strong enough to lift it or big enough to lift it by myself. You'd be like, how'd you get that in the house? Well, you would ask me, how'd you get that in the house? Well, then sometimes I would see it, I'm like, oh, we're gonna have to re-nail that together. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, or I didn't. It people. was in the house and painted, but uh, all the insides were busted out. Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I, and I used to do some of my own repairs. I still do sometimes when I get tired of waiting. Yeah? Because sometimes you're too busy. You got stuff going on. This is the color that we mixed up. Right here you can see Farm Fresh, and above is the color that we mixed. Not quite as green as my actual logo color, but close enough, so we're gonna go with it. Okay, so we have decided to switch this up and go with Apothecary. Um, even after all that mixing, this color is just too blue. Apothecary isn't an exact match, but it's closer. Zeb is way neater than I am, so I'm going to paint all the edges up until the detail, and then he's gonna come back in with a detail brush and just get around the edges that we've got, the white and the black. So hopefully it'll be nice and neat. I feel like the apothecary is almost spot on. We are now touching up where the apothecary got where we didn't want to. We're using the turquoise iris brushes. I've got the favorite. What do you have? I have the assistant. The assistant. And we are just touching up inside these circles and the Jamie Ray Vintage and the bird. And honestly, most people probably wouldn't see that, but Seb said, and he is correct, that a lot of people will take pictures in front of this sign when they come to visit, especially. So I just wanna make sure it's as nice as possible. So the reason why we're doing this ourselves is for two reasons. One, it saves a ton of money. Also, it uses the CNC machine that we already own. And also because when you do things yourself, you can get exactly what you want. Sometimes when you hire things out, it's impossible to get an exact item that you want. Especially when it's not digital. When it's digital, that's pretty easy, but this is pretty custom. We're sealing the sign with Kills Clear. It's an outdoor sealer that we've had really good luck with. I'm gonna do three or four coats. I want this to be super durable. It's gonna get snow on it and things like that. So we'll let you know how this holds up over time, but I think it'll work really well. That took us a little longer than we thought to finish that sign up, but it's outside, it's hanging on the wall, and it's done. 
Done-ish. I'm gonna go do some patch up because there are a few spots that once we moved into the sunshine, I was like, oh no. Well, when I sealed it, the wind was blowing and it was raining and you got some stuff blown on it. It's all right, I'll fix it either today or next week. I'm really glad it's done. If you wanna achieve a similar look, be sure to go to JamieRayVintage.com for your products. Zeb will drop the link to the sealer below that we use for all of our outdoor sealing and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.